Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. My name is Ryan Krunenberg and I'll be your host. There's been quite a few announcements this week and the first of that is around the uh, EC2 and you no longer have to SSH in to manage your EC2 instances. AWS have also announced a new GovCloud service on the East Coast for 2018. They've also released some new Lambda blueprints for uh, Box and they've also announced some new graphs for the X-Ray service. And then finally, the most exciting announcement is around DynamoDB and the ability to auto scale within it. So we've all SSH'd into an EC2 instance before and you know how painful it can be, especially as your business grows and the number of EC2 instances that you're managing goes from hundreds to thousands. And so it can be a real pain managing these instances, going in and applying updates, installing new applications, etc. So now using the AWS Systems Manager, you can actually apply updates to EC2 instances using the run command at scale. And you don't need to SSH into these instances anymore, so you can push out updates, you can push out new applications, etc. to your EC2 fleets without having to SSH into them. It's going to save your engineers an awful lot of time and they can do this just using their laptop inside the AWS console. The latest AWS Summit was this week in Washington DC and they made a really big announcement and that is that AWS GovCloud is moving to the East Coast. AWS GovCloud is a dedicated uh, cloud platform just for government customers only and was released in 2011 and is based in the West Coast. And current customers include people like NASA, the Department of Justice, the Department of Veterans Affairs, etc. But the biggest audience for GovCloud of course will be based out of the East Coast which is where the federal government is run from. So now they will have a local AWS GovCloud region nearest to them. Another announcement this week was around the Box service. So Box is essentially uh, similar to Dropbox, but instead of storing your um, files in the cloud, it actually stores your files in the cloud, but streams them down to your desktop, which means that you don't have to have them cached locally. And that means that you can save an awful lot of storage space. So AWS this week have released some Lambda blueprints and templates, which make it even easier for you to use the Box service and design applications around the Box API. Now at reInvent last year, X-Ray was announced and X-Ray basically allows you to monitor your serverless applications. And this week, AWS have announced two new graphs that are available in X-Ray. You can now measure both node latency and edge latency. Node latency allows you to measure the exact amount of time that an individual AWS service such as Lambda takes to execute. And then edge latency is the amount of time between your two different AWS services. So the amount of time between Lambda and Dynamo DB, etc. Now you can now graph this and this allows you to monitor what's going on under the hood and increase your application's performances. And the biggest announcement this week was around DynamoDB. DynamoDB is Amazon's NoSQL database and it's used by hundreds of thousands of customers all around the world. And it now provides auto-scaling capabilities so you no longer have to try and predict the demand of your applications. DynamoDB will automatically scale for you to meet that demand. It's one less thing to worry about. <laughs> 